the fact that you can take a heart from someone else and put it into a totally different person and it works. Every time I think about it and it's just endlessly fascinating. When they actually told us she had to have a, a transplant, then it was kind of like, oh my, this is really real. This morning was tough because she did say to me, I don't want to die. And I promised her she wouldn't. You don't want to break your promise. <laughs> I mean, no one ever signs up to do this as a parent. You know, it's hard when you see them living in a, in a hospital, in a pediatric hospital. You wake up not knowing what your day is going to be like. You're not everybody. knowing if you're going to get that call. You're, you're like, boy, I hope a heart becomes available. We talked about it a lot. What if she doesn't make it? There is that possibility. It's one of the things that's always in the back of your mind, but it's one of the things you try not to think about. The unknown is just scary. But then you get the call. And your whole life changes and literally a phone call. I think that there's something really special about knowing that a patient's heart is alive in someone else. Seeing a kid who is sick and become as close to a normal kid as possible is unbelievable. What a gift they've given us, just an amazing gift.